Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about references and reference parameters in JavaScript, part of Web Technologies course. In JavaScript, variables are assigned values in two ways, by value and by reference. When a variable is assigned a primitive value such as a number or a string, the variable stores a copy of the value. This is known as passing by value. In this example, a is assigned the value of 5 and then B is assigned the value of A. Changing the value of A to 10 does not affect the value of B because B has its own copy of the value of A. When a variable is assigned an object such as an array or an object, the variable stores a reference of the object. This is known as passing by reference. In this example, A is assigned the value of an array 1, 2 and 3. And then B is assigned the value of A. When we use the push method on A to add the element 4 to the array, B also reflects the change because it holds a reference to the same array object. Passing by reference can be useful when working with large data structures such as arrays and objects because it avoids making copies of the data. However, it can also be a source of confusion if you are not careful because changes made to a referenced object will be reflected in all variables that reference the object. In JavaScript, you can use the object.assign method to create a copy of an object or use the spread operators that is dot 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 to create a copy of an array. In function calls with a variable that references an object is passed as an argument to a function. The function receives a reference to the same object not a copy of it. This is called a reference parameter. In this example the numbers array is passed as an argument to the add number function. So the function has access to the same array object and can push an element to it. This change is reflected in the original array. Hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.